Hi, this is the third video of chapter 3, the Monopoly. In this video we are going to talk about the effect of a tax. And just to begin, suppose we have a specific tax of $2 per unit, so that the monopolist must remit $2 to the government for every unit it sells. If the marginal cost was the firm's original marginal cost, its optimal decision will be given as, a, as it is shown in this slide. But first, remember that in perfect competition, we saw that when a specific tax per unit was imposed, the market price raised by an amount that was lower than the tax, and that the burden of the tax was shared by producers and consumers. The one of them, the agent that supported mostly the, the tax, was the one that had a relatively inelastic demand or supply. So if the supply was relatively more inelastic than the demand, we saw that most of the tax was supported by the producers. And if the demand was relatively inelastic compared to the supply, we saw that the tax was mostly supported by the consumers. However, under the monopoly, the price can sometimes rise by more than the amount of the tax. So let's go back to our example here in this slide and we see that the firm's marginal cost will increase after the tax by exactly the amount of the tax. Okay, so we have that the marginal cost before the tax is here, this horizontal line, and after the, after the tax, will, it will be here, okay? So the difference between one and the other is exactly the tax. In this slide, we have drawn the marginal cost as an horizontal line, but it could be an increasing line, an increasing function, a positive function also. But just to see this very clear, we just compare the marginal cost before the tax and after, and we see that the difference between them is exactly the tax, the t. So just to continue, we see that before the tax is imposed, we find the quantity for the equilibrium in the monopoly in the point where, at the point where the marginal cost equal to the marginal revenue, exactly here. This is where we find the quantity for equilibrium the monopoly. And if we draw a vertical line from this, from here to the average revenue, we find which is the price before the tax, P0, and we have Q0. And after the tax, we have to find where is the point where this new marginal cost, the marginal cost plus T, equals to the marginal revenue and we have this point here so the quantity is going to decrease after the tax. This is the quantity that is going to be offered or exchanged in the market here. And if we draw a vertical line up to the average revenue we find that the price increases compared to the original one before the tax. So this increase in price we see that is larger than the tax in this case. So this is the main difference between the monopoly, the, the tax imposed in the monopoly, and a tax imposed in the perfect competition. We found that sometimes in the monopoly, the increase in price can be larger than the tax. Not always, but many times. And this will be impossible in a competitive market. And that's all for the moment. See you in the next video.